Hi and uh, welcome to this uh, vlog. Uh, Andreas Viasson heter jag. Um, Hej och välkommen uh, till denna vlog som jag ska göra en kombinerad vlog och um, uh, matlagningsgrej. Uh, jag, jag hade tänkt laga till en uh, potatisgrötthäng uh, med uh, blomkål och falukorv. Alltså alltihopa i ett paket då, förstås. Um, I'm going to do a combined <coughs> vlog today uh, with the cooking corner. Uh, this time I have prepared and planned a little bit better than last time. And um, it'll be a kind of Swedish uh, uh, meal. It is uh, with potatoes, uh, followers, uh, cauliflower and it is to be done in the oven with a cheese topping and a salad to that it is uh, not found readily in other countries so um, I start off with this uh, vlog uh, cooking corner from a very beautiful location outside of uh, Lovanger in northern Sweden. It is called Levatnet, uh, leaf water, if one puts it that way, in a direct uh, translation. Um, and it uh, has uh, where I'm standing at the moment. There are a lot of boats on shore uh, waiting for the winter. They are Ganu Ari Levatnet. Uh, utanför Lövånger uh, och uh, där jag står nu så är det många båtar som är uppdragna på land vissa verkar ha legat här i många många år utan att ha varit använda nästan bortglömda men jag tänkte jag skulle börja med en lite vacker uh, location så att säga inför uh, matlagnings Susan Flöjtsanet Hej uh, Hej och uh, välkomna till min lilla kokhörna I, I am not gonna be figurating in the film so much this time but uh, I'm gonna try and make this as short and, and consist as consist as much as possible Ska jag försöka göra den här så kort och eh, begränsad som möjligt. Eh, vad jag använder är potatis, potatoes, onion, food cooking cream, cheddar cheese that has already been grated and the Swedish fall burst but uh, the English speaking people they can use any any spicy sausage that they want um, and then of course garlic and that is basically the entire entire ingredient uh, collection I have um, pre-prepared salad which is made of everything from rucola to normal salad tomatoes um, orange oranges cucumber and a little bit of garlic as well this one on the other hand I'm gonna put this one in the fridge while I wait I set it in that in chile salad um, Jag kommer först och främst att uh, skala potatisen och löken och allting sånt där. Jag startar med potatis. Jag 
And since I am alone today, I won't be making a huge amount of, of it. So, six to eight is about enough for these uh, smaller potatoes. Normally I would use um, very big potatoes. And um, then just to, since the bag is so brittle, I just put the potatoes in, into a plastic bag and back into the fridge because otherwise they will, they will get destroyed. Okay, I said the potatoes in the Det är plastpåse och sätter in dem i kylen igen. Han har spelat för större. Um, I will pause the video here and uh, return when uh, I have done all the preparations to actually start doing the, the food cooking. Um, jag återkommer när jag har skalat och skivat potatisen och löken och Allt det andra har gjort i ordning så att eh, jag börjar sätta ihop hela eh, koket inför ugn, ugnsplaceringen. Då um, ses vi om en stund. There are probably those of you that are wondering whether uh, how I do the peeled potatoes. Um, because they have to be sliced into thin, thin um, slices. I use a food processor to do that. It makes so much noise, it's just unbelievable. So um, I will spare you that. Right, um, here's the potatoes. As you can see, it is very thin slices. And I've laid them in a a vegetable broth of, of salt water, uh, parsley, and uh, some pepper, and quite a bit of salt actually, because the salt keeps it, um, it gives it taste as we as we, as I work along, and then I keep it in in this uh, container until I'm going to use it. Now I'm in the Jag använder grönsaksbiljong uh, och låter potatisen ligga i det tillsammans med salt och peppar och, och lite annat för att det ska hålla, hålla och så få bättre smak också. Um, I'm going to be, I almost forgot, I'm using ecological uh, uh, cauliflower as well. Ekologisk blomkål som jag har köpt in på Billis i, i Skellefteå där jag vet inte om man kan se det här lagom stora bitar det, det ska jag också lägga i i, i Biljong för att få bort det frusna I'm uh, putting the cauliflower in, in this vegetable broth that, that I have on the side here uh, because they are frozen and and uh, a bit hard to handle but it also gives them a, a, a richer taste. I will now be using, uh, I'll now be um, slicing the the onions um, and the neck and even then we have my country by sleeper in on per or then share then share the thing um now not all send lenge for swan it from um and then my country are all from store to grow so good even made um the name on, on this knife is disappeared since long time ago. When, when I need to sharpen it maybe once or twice a year and uh, it can cut anything from metal to to vegetables and fruit. And I'll show you just 
how easily they are cut. I don't even have to push. It's just slides. And it just is no effort at all. And you people that uh, have a hard time with with onion that uh, sprays up in your eyes and you start crying. The secret is the cutting board, you rinse it in cold water, you rinse the knife in cold water and you wet your hands in cold water and, uh, and it's no problem. It's a most important det ska grina så ha sig. Så det är hemligheten att använda skärbrädan. Skölja den i kallt vatten före. Och sen sköljer man löken. Man sköljer kniven. Man sköljer händerna i kallt vatten. Och så då ändå klar som sagt. Och med den här kniven går det ju så fruktansvärt lätt. Som ni såg så var det ju ingen ansträngning alls. As you can see, no effort at all. And now for the powder burst. I'm not quite sure how much I need this time around. But uh, um, I'll make a rough guess and, and that which I do not use this time around, I'll use tomorrow. For the next day, depends on what the appetite says. Fallwurst is a reddish Swedish sausage. Uh, due to the European Union rules, uh, EU European Union rules, EU regular, uh, they had to change the recipe for these uh, sausages and God knows why because it has actually diminished the taste and um, you can either use them fry them you can deep fry them you can uh, uh, grill them over open fire you can uh, Eat, eat them raw because they are already pre prepared so to speak and uh, have a lovely consistency and taste and you can use them as uh, cold cuts on sandwiches as well So, to recap, we have potato slices, hang on, give me a second. Uh, potato slices, sausage, onion, garlic, cream, cheese, pepper, salt salt, peppar, cheddarost, grädde, antingen matlagningsgrädde eller vispgrädde eller oatly <coughs> törnfrivad potatis, 
Men det vet ju alla svenskar att det har man i potatisbutik. Farkor, lök, vitlök. Nu börjar vi sätta ihop det. Um, but I have made a little bit of a, a, a dot of a butter in this uh, pan, made of glass, and uh, see to it that it is well painted with this melted butter along the sides, so it doesn't get stuck. And just to be a little bit opposite to what, what other people do, <coughs> I'm going to do it my way. I take some pepper and add it to the pan first. Then I start laying out the potato slices along the bottom. Jag gör ett lite tvärsom det får på en fisk gör. Jag lägger, jag smörar pannan och sen då, eller byttan eller vad man nu ska kalla det, <coughs> umsformen. Um, och sen då pepprar jag det för att det blir lite rikare smak på potatisgrateringen från grunden då. Lägger jag ut en tunna skivorna av bait så att säga. And I spread these out as evenly as I can. It is not 100% necessary to make it uh, absolute. But uh, it makes it more even the cooking. So I want to spread out the noggots and the jams so that that it doesn't get all too corny, as they say. And then I take oven, onion, I'm sorry, and uh, spread it out as well as I can. Not too thick a layer because if it's too much onion, it, it kind of eats up the entire taste of the the, the potato thing here. And then um, I'll drop in a little bit of cauliflower and tap in with the bloom cordy the hero. Blomkålen ger mer en, en rundare smak till, till det hela. Och då jag är väldigt förtjust i blomkål så, så äter jag det gärna. Now for the garlic. Och nu till vitlöken. Och ni som inte vet om det här med vitlök och skalar vitlöken helt och hållet innan ni sätter in det i vitlöksbrötten så behövs det inte. Det är bara krossa. And you that don't know about this trick about garlic uh, you don't need to remove the skin of the, of the garlic prior to um, crushing it because when you remove it 
you've got the skin in the one hand and you've got the crusher in the other. När man, tar, alltså, när man har gjort sådär, så då har man, vad heter det, vitlökskal i ena handen och vitlökskrossen i den andra. There we go. That's all the garlic we need for this time. I prefer to have a lot of garlic, but uh, just for this occasion, I'll, I'll limit it to one, one level. Then I use the, the worst or sausage or whatever you want to call it. Put it as a layer, like that. Then you take pepper, and screw it on quite richly. I like it a little bit stronger, you can skip the, the pepper amount, and then some salt, and then you repeat the procedure once more. And take the potatoes. Spread it out pretty thickly since it has a kind of an open layer between. This is so thin anyway, these slices are so thin anyway, so it doesn't matter so much that it becomes a little bit thick on the second layer. It takes about the same amount of time anyway. And then you just add some sausage along the edges because you want to have the, the middle open so that it's easier to, to uh, pick out when you're going to serve it and eat it. Then you take the rest of the onion, spread it out as well as you can. Man sätter alltså fadekorven ut efter kanterna på andra lagret. Eftersom det blir lättare när man ska ta upp det så och äta. Sen tar man resten av allröken. Jag har bara använt lite vitlök vid det här för att jag, jag vet att det finns de som inte uppskattar vitlök och det kan hända att, att de vill ha av det här eftersom det kommer att bli över. Och en som pepper. Lägg igen. En salt. Och en final layer of potatoes across the top. Sorry, excuse me. I got a burper, burper tank. That becomes a bit messy on my hands, but no, no food cooking without messy hands, right? Ingen matlagning utan kladdiga händer. Och dessutom, det här är ju grönsaksbiljong så det gör ju inte så mycket. Har glömt? Glömt? Blomkålen? Nej, det har jag inte. Jag har bara fått cauliflower och the rest of the cauliflower. No, I haven't. Because the cauliflower will actually be the, the, the base for the, binding the cheese to the, to the top of this. There we go. Let me just check up that I don't have, that I haven't missed anyone of these slices. There we go. So 
så använder jag resten av blomkålen för att som binda osten på toppen och ge den osten lite mer rik smak. Jag är ju särskilt förtjust i, i vad heter det, i blomkål. Hur man ser på det så att jag använder det gärna av mycket. I allt möjligt. I use cauliflower in, in most everything, even salad sometimes. Uh, that's just because I, I like it that much. And now some salt. A final layer of pepper. Just a thin layer, not so much. Because if you use too much, it, it becomes too much as well. Let's see if we can focus down on this one a little bit more. <coughs> And now I have chosen cheddar this time instead of a Gretchen cheese because cheddar is a little bit stronger in taste. Uh, I don't like cheddar on sandwiches and so on so much because I think it's a bit kind of destroys the taste. But. Uh, On this kind of stuff, it's, it's very good. And since it's only me eating of this today, and possibly one other person later on, then. Uh, I might as well just use one packet of the stuff. And now I'm going to add a little bit of this cheese mix as well. Just to, it's four different types of cheeses mixed together. Just to cover the, the cauliflower. I was going to add one packet of the ost, but the ost has better holdbarness. There we go. And uh, that is what it looks like. And uh, now we are just uh, simply gonna put it into the oven at uh, 200 degrees Celsius until the cheese is a nice brown crisp color. Och nu är den in i ugnen i 200 grader tills dess att osten är... Nej, vänta nu, jag glömde en sak. Now we've got to back up a little bit. I forgot something very important. <laughs> I'm, only a, I'm only a person and sometimes my memory slips. What did I forget? Yeah, the cream. No cooked potatoes without liquid, right? There we go. Now I'm back into the oven with that one. So there you are. 
And uh, now I will pause the video until the food is done. Now it is time to see what the end result is. Ja, nu ska jag ta fram fram det och nu får vi se vad som händer. And there we have it. And it's just to bring out the salad. So there we are. There we put out the scratching with salad. middag. Uh, vi ska ta och servera det alldeles strax. Och i vanlig ordning så måste man ta fram kameran. Eller ett ljus av tur. Break out the camera. I had glanced that it was installed on the third of the third And what am I going to eat? Drink to that. Today's special will be a Japanese ramune. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. And just to recap again, what have we had in, in it? Um, potato, onion, garlic, salt, pepper, cheese, and cooking cream. And then the salad is whatever it takes to make it taste good. Um, the sammanfattning, potatis, falukar, blomkor, lök, vitlök, salt, peppar, Och vad som än som får din sallad att smaka gott. Um, I forgot the sausage and the cauliflower. Och um, därmed så tackar jag för mig från matlagningssidan av det hela. Um, snabbt, gott och dags att äta. Ching.